morning, all. The EU deal reached late at night at the EU summit in Brussels gives a special status to the United Kingdom, said David Cameron. Most of the other 27 heads of state and government see it as a fair deal, but is it a precedent which might be followed by other EU members? We asked EU Parliament President Martin Schulz about his analysis of the deal. For many people around it was a fair deal. How do you see the deal today? I think it's a fair deal. It is a compromise, uh, for sure, not meeting every wish of everybody. But at the end, uh, I think everybody could live with it. For us in the European Parliament, one thing is absolutely clear. Uh, the exception the United Kingdom is asking for uh, meets uh, two basic elements of European uh, law. But it... Discrimination and the free movement. And we will, as European Parliament, look very carefully that this is guaranteed. But it opens the box. It's clearly a precedent. Do you see this for other countries? First of all, we have uh, a very specific British uh, situation. And in the agreement of today, we uh, agree that from 2020, other countries, if they have the justification of similar problems, could ask for it. But this is much too early to discuss this. Treaty changes could be needed for the future. How will the Parliament follow? We have not discussed about treaty changes, and treaty changes are not on the agenda. But the split between Euro countries and non-Euro countries, which was a risk at the early beginning, was avoided. Uh, the currency of the European Union is the Euro. The United Kingdom has an opt-out. Uh, but we guarantee absolutely the coherence of the single market. There is no discrimination for non-Euro countries but also know a veto for non-euro countries in relation to the eurozone. Thanks a lot.